Looking ahead to the early part of next week, well, it'll be a chilly start on Monday morning. And then we get Atlantic weather fronts bringing rain mainly into Scotland and Northern Ireland. This is BBC News, I'm Martine Croxall. The headlines at eight. A call for coronavirus vaccines to be available for all as leaders from the world's biggest economies meet for an online summit hosted by Saudi Arabia. Boris Johnson faces questions about whether he tried to tone down an independent report which said the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, broke the ministerial code by bullying staff. None of us want to see bullying or poor practices within the workplace. And the Home Secretary has been clear that she would never want to do that intentionally. The government is to change how it invests in big spending projects to ensure the north of England gets a fair share of the cash. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off for a satellite that will track rising sea levels, improving our understanding of climate change. Coming up, Barack Obama discusses his long-awaited memoir, A Promised Land, with historian David Olusoga, talking about his reflections on the volatile racial divide in the US. I think as I was watching the events unfold this summer, both the, the death of, of George Floyd, the murder of George Floyd, uh, but also the response. Uh, I, it was a mixture of despair and optimism. Good evening and welcome to BBC News. The annual G20 summit has opened with a call for coronavirus vaccines to be made available to everyone around the world.